solution. If you did not understand, ask me, I'll explain. Then rerun the job from step two. The job from step two. The reason is the step one is already successful, guys. The step one is already successful. It means the job has already saved this data set or this GDG generation in 3.4. So current day generation is already created and that generation is what your step two has to read because it has to go as per step one. It has not to go as per the job. What are the generation created in that particular day? That generation only you need to read as input. So the job when it ran for first time and failed, this generation is already created. When you're running the same job for the same day, okay, you're not running second job. You are running the same job second time then you need to use the generation already created for that instead of using plus one in your step two you need to change to zero zero and then restart the job from step two so any problem in this one any uh, uh, questions in this one right now let me explain you this story. Now this is very important guys. In this case, what is the problem? What is the way you need to think? In this case, first thing, first thing, you need to rename the GDG generation created in the abend run, okay, in abend case. So suppose you have created, okay, you have generation number. Uh, what is our cycle is showing you? It is showing 15, right? So if you have a generation number 15, guys, and you give plus one, and then it has created generation number 16, and then abandoned here. What you need to do as per your solution, guys, you need to rename, you need to rename the generation number 16. What are the created for today, guys? You need to rename to some other name, okay? Some, let's say, backup, okay? Let's say date, you give D as a date, and say that May 28, something like that. You need to rename the file completely. And then you need to run the job from step two and then rerun, sorry, not from step one, rerun the job from step one here. This first point which I'm telling guys is a serious note point. Nobody knows this one unless they see it in project. Nobody can help you to understand, make you to tell unless they know the reality. So Anil, why you want to rename this one? If I run it from step one, guys, if I run it from step one, I will not get any duplicate. System will create the 17th generation and the same step, second step will use the 17th generation as it is. So here it won't be any problem, guys. But what happens here is, let's say I told you the daily generation story, right? So this is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and even Sunday here. And Sunday you have a weekly job, right? Weekly job is there. Sunday you have a weekly job. What is that will do? What a weekly job will do, guys? Sunday, guys, what it does? It will take the whole daily generation from Monday to Sunday and save in one weekly file on weekly file here, right? So now here is what happened here. This is, let's say, this is the 10th generation created on Monday, 11th, 12th, 13th, and 14th over here it has created and it abandoned here. Okay, this is the case. Friday is our scenario. Let's assume Friday as our scenario, guys, and it abandoned on the 14th case. Now, what you did instead of removing that failed generation, this is bad generation, guys, which is not required at all. This should not be there in the history. For that particular day guys in that day this history is not supposed to be there so you need to remove this now without removing it what happened you rerun okay you just rerun then you created the 15th generation here successfully here you got 16th generation now how many generations you have now one two three four five six and seven generations are there right total you already have by seven saturday you have seven generation when system is creating the eighth generation here, this is the eighth generation because of empty case. What happens? Generation number 10 to 16 will be deleted because these are the seven generation. The limit exceeds guys on the eighth generation. There is a limit exceed scenario will be there, right? So it will delete on Sunday. It will delete by creating the Sunday's generation. 
it deleted everything that wheat has been storing. Now the weekly job will come and start collecting. Well, how many generations you have now? Only one generation in your hand. Only generation 17 will be taking the backup and you lost one week history completely in this small mistake. In this small mistake, if you ran, okay, my point, if you did not understand, let me explain you. Same day, okay, same day, you cannot create two generations. That's what I want to tell you. If you did like that, what happens? When the next generations are creating, you will be reaching limit exceed one day before only. By Saturday only, you come to the limit exceed scenarios. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So Saturday only you got seven generation. Generally what happens? You need to get 14 here, Saturday 15, and Sunday 16th generation should come, and those files should be taken into backup. That is the general case. But you had a job event on one of the day, and without removing that existing generation count, you have reran for second day and uh, second time on the same day, created another generation, and that is what causing the limit to reach on Saturday. When Sunday system is creating the eighth generation, system deletes anything that is older because of the empty scenario. And when the backup is trying to take the backup for the still Sunday from Monday to Sunday, you have only one generation. So running the job, OK, like I want to tell you in a serious note, in any production job, if you are supposed to restart a job, guys, along with the reason why the job failed, OK, along with the analyzing of your job failed cases, guys, please be very careful with the GDGs. That is my final store line, what I want to tell you. Be very, very careful with the GDGs. It's OK you take some time. It's OK to take somebody's help in your team member if you are getting confused. It's OK to take the help of your team member with a junior or a senior or anyone. It's OK. Don't, if you are very confused, if you are not at all serious, if you are very, very scared, then take help always because if you run and create some problem, guys, we cannot solve the problem which is deleted. We cannot do like this, guys. If you do like this and if it is causing the problem, guys, in like deleting the history, we cannot recreate the history, guys. We cannot solve those problems. Even though you solve this small problem, creating a bigger problems will be more uh, serious for the project, not for you. OK, if you take any help, OK, you, you are having two plus experience, three plus experience. Now you have a uh, let's say you are not having any real experience. You have only the resume experience. You did your analysis. You know that this DDG has to be uh, renamed and give the solution. So what you need to do is put your solutions in a step by step. Write a notes, put a solution, ping me. Anil, I am thinking to apply this solution for this particular event. Can you confirm it? Can you confirm it if there is any mistake? I'm a little bit confused in here. Now that is a general, genuine kind of request. Whether you are in real experience, whether you are having a resume experience, doesn't matter. You need to do your homework that you did your analysis. You came up with your solution. You had your solution, but you don't want to apply because you have some doubts in that. Now that is very general kind of scenario that is very much uh, important that you reach to your team member who can help you, whether he is a serious person, whether he is a friendly person, doesn't matter. You put your solution in front of him and then ask to confirm that, yes, this solution can I apply? Can you confirm it? Now, once you get his confirmation or his, now when he, what happens? Now I'll tell you what happens here from my end. From your end, you send a message saying that, Anil, can I put this solution? What I will do? Will I say yes or no without seeing the scenario? When you ask a request, when you ask for any help for me, guys, will I just tell you yes and no directly without seeing the scenario, without seeing the situation? No, right? So what I will do, I will may go to the job and verify your analysis, or I may ask you the question that, OK, uh, you are telling this solution. Why you want to go for this solution? What is your analysis? Because I may take some time to find the reasons. So I'll ask you the analysis and I'll verify. So 
you be your own way guys your skill is what important your resume experience or your real experience doesn't matter guys your skill is important you do your homework and then you present it to your team member and get the confirmation this is a production environment guys i have seen projects i was there in one of the project where one of my senior uh, one of my senior i would say senior or i would say uh, same level of uh, team member i would say they did one mistake on gdg not this mistake this is one of the mistake which i found in another project but one of the senior resource okay senior resource only uh, he made a mistake in this gdg story now the situation is very interesting guys let me explain you the uh, what happened in realistically so when i was working in india guys okay when i was working in india i was having uh, we used to come only in the afternoon time 12 to 9 something like we need to overlap with the uh, on site team so we come late and we uh, go late from the office so every day i generally come around 12 o'clock or 12:30 after uh, coming uh, completing my classes and everything in the morning time so as soon as i reach my office guys in general okay when we were in office this happened like four or five years back guys so when we are in office guys uh, as soon as i come to office generally i'm the late person okay i'm the late comer here uh, except for my training guys for any other thing i'll be always late so i was the last person to come to the office and by the time i came all my team members are very seriously working guys now th that is not the expectation generally when we go to the office the people are just chit chatting here and there uh, they talk to each other they just go for a cafeteria something like that that is the expectation in the uh, early morning time or early uh, hour time of work so by the time i went guys the scene was little different everybody was working so i thought okay uh, maybe they have some p2 issue and they are working on it then i dropped my bag i opened my laptop i connected the network and then i went for cafeteria had some snack uh, and then came to uh, my desk and then i was still seeing they are still working now I was actually in a, uh, in, I was in my own uh, uh, routine. As soon as every day I go to office, go to cafeteria, get some water bottles like that. It's my own way I need to do every day the same routine. Now when I sat and I was getting doubt, I asked my lead. He was one of the, my, our lead was there with me. I asked him what happened, uh, what you are doing actually as working. The only the word he told that Anil, our project is gone. The only word he told me that Anil, our project is gone. Two times he told me the same thing. Of course, I was still in that, uh, not in that serious note. I was still in my jovial uh, mood uh, to come to office, stay, spend some time and go office uh, home like that. Now I was not taking that statement at all. So I opened my laptop and doing something, basically seeing all the birthday mails and everything. Then I asked him, okay, how the project is gone? Uh, and it's, then he told that night some issue happened on the GDD story. Because of that, the, our project is gone. Now, I was a little bit interested. OK, let's say something serious happened now. Then I opened my laptop and I started seeing the mails. I was like literally seeing like a kind of dinosaurs in my mails, guys. Literally one of the dinosaurs are like my uh, dinosaurs in the sense, uh, my SMEs who generally we don't like to talk to them. Like they are very serious people. They are sending a lot of mails in there. Each mail I was reading and I tried to understand what is really happening. Now, after I read the mail, after I understand the situation, you know what I told my team member, my lead? I told him the same thing that our project is really gone. Our project is really gone. That's the same line I told him to as well. He was laughing and saying that I also saying the same thing from morning. I came one hour back and from one hour I'm doing the same problem here. So basically, after that story, what I'll tell you real quick, what happened here is, there is the same job events will come, okay? Regular, normal, uh, daily, uh, common, okay? Common event will come. The common event is there. The solution is very simple, guys. The solution was very simple. You'll be having generation one, generation two, like this. There will be many generations, okay? There will be many generations like this here. And then there is a generation five for today, okay? And then it failed here with creating it. After creating it, it failed. But same example, same scenario. Now the solution was very uh, already prepared solution, already defined the solution is uh, we need to get one record from this old one. Okay, one record from old 
uh, GDG files. Maybe it is a one week old file or one month old file. We need to find where that particular record is there in this old file. Get this record, copy to this one, copy to this particular GDG G file and run the job. That's the only thing that we need to do. Okay. If this particular job fails for same reason, the solution was very simple. There will be one record in this particular file. You need to pull that one record and store it in this particular GDG today's generation and run the process. Now my team member what he did accidentally is a senior resource. He knows this solution. He did this solution many times guys. OK, we, this is a very common issue was there. So everybody know the solution. Everybody has the option guys. So my team member what he did. He did the same thing. He got the uh, record from generation number two, which is the old one and he copied generation number five guys and then he restarted. OK, he restarted here with generation number two guys. That's the problem. He was supposed to run the job with generation number five, but doesn't know why or by mistake. He has run the job with generation number two. Instead of using this generation number, OK, instead of using generation G115, he ran the job with the G006. Now that messed up the entire system because this file was already processed one month back. That those are the financial records, guys. Let's say assume one month back you did some credit card usage. OK, one month back you did the credit card usage and you got the bill for that. Now we took the same file and generated one more time the same bill. Will you accept guys? Will you accept there? No, obviously no, right? Same thing, such a kind of issue happened. The financially completely this process has messed up the entire system with the old data. Instead of processing today's data, we processed one month old data with financial. Now there is no going back guys. Because anytime in any, any project, any code, any logic you write by any developer guys, we always write how to go from A to B only. We never write any logic how to come from B to A. We never do that. We never have seen that. So same thing here. This person has created the problem guys, but there is no solution to come back. That is the seriousness of these GDGs guys. So be very careful. OK, be very careful. What happened to the project is different story. OK, what happened to that project was a different story, but what happened, how we worked to fix this issue was a very tricky case. I would say like nightmares. Some people in the interview they'll ask you, right? What are the challenging tasks Anil you have worked? These kind of things we will tell. This, then, this is not the only case. There are so many challenging things happens every day in our life. So in the interview, somebody asked Anil, what is a challenging task? Now this is challenging task. Because challenge in the sense there is no solution guys. First of all, a challenge task is something that there is no solution only. Without having a solution, trying to fix it, that is the challenge task. In interview, I'll also ask guys okay, in the interview panel. When I was in interview panel, I'll also ask the same question to one of my interviewers saying that what are the challenge tasks you have solved? So they will say that there was one append, I have fixed it. That's not a challenge. That is your home, uh, that's your uh, work, right? That's uh, solving the append work is your uh, thing. Somebody says that I have uh, uh, added one field in my copy book and then I made a changes to my program. That's not a challenge. That is your role. You are a developer. You are supposed to do that only. Challenges are something that you don't do regularly, guys. Challenges are something that comes in a way that you never expect that to come and you don't have any solution to fix it. There is no solution here. Actually, there is no something like magically I can go one day back and solve the problem. It messed up the entire system. And we need to deal with that as it is. So like I said, right when we go to interviews, guys, when we go for an interview panel, we know what is a, a answer expected from the students that answer expected from the people who are coming in the interview guys we know what should expect from them so if you are giving any dummy answers guys we already know that we already know 
generally we laugh ever, uh, uh, on your answers sometimes. OK, maybe it's not good manners, but your answers are so funny that in the interviews when after the interview is completed, generally I'll tell you after any interview is completed, guys, uh, we uh, like we, uh, like happen, what happens if interviews will be taken in a separate uh, room, guys, OK, in a uh, meeting rooms will be there. There we'll be taking the interviews actually. Now by the time we come to out of the intro room, guys, uh, you remember your school uh, kind of uh, environment or your college environment when your YY is completed and you come out. What happens when you your YY is completed or when your lab exam is completed? Something when you come out, what your th friends will ask you? What questions you have received? What are the answers you told? Right. Same thing happens when we come out of the intro. Uh, case guys my team members will ask me anil what are the questions you ask them what is the answer they told you now each question and the answer when i tell them they keep on laughing it's like a funny answer that you will be generating guys i don't know how the intro people come directly to intro without preparing basic things but the answers are so funny that our day will be very happy on that day so anyway so you don't be in that funny side guys you don't be in the funny side you do on the correct side. You need to be very serious. You think that you are an experienced candidate and then behave like that only. So 